Hello, this is Matt at AppWorks, and this is part two of the video series of how containers work. And this part, we're going to take a look at secure storage of images in external containers. So in the first part, we worked on a sample database that I created from free images from unsplash.com, um, a really good source of free image, con image content. <coughs> and I have my image field, which is set to open storage um, and the, the structure on the server, so here's actually the server we're looking at right here. Um, it creates a folder called image test, and then in there is one folder for each image, or each, basically each record in the database, and then uh, the image record in there. So if I had multiple fields in this table that each contained a container, then each of those would be in the folder with the unique ID. Okay, so if I want to move this to secure storage, how does that work? So I'll simply switch to secure storage. Note with secure, we don't choose the path. And I'll just click OK and OK. FileMaker asks me to confirm my transfer. I accept it. The first step is it adds up disk space and makes sure that it has enough space on the server to actually do what you're asking, because it might not. And then it actually will then move the images over, uh, which actually, that happens on the server. So this is a hundreds of megabytes of images. This would be way faster than would be possible locally on my computer. So it's nice to know this is a server-side process. And then once the container's done, we can take a look at what's going on on the server. So what it did is in my image test folder, it makes a folder called secure. This is the folder that used to have one folder for every single ID. And in the secure folder, it, it makes a small set of subfolders, 212, rather than the total number of records in my database. And then in each one of these, and down, and down, and down, and down and <laughs> is a file that you cannot open. You can't virus scan it, you can't open it, you can't view it. It is an encrypted file that contains the image data for some record in your database. You can't tell what record, so you can back this data up and it's just a standard kind of structure of your data, but you can't really interact with it in any meaningful way on the server. It's securely stored, which is good. It means it's protected um, from people who have access to the server so that they can't actually do stuff with, uh, with the data. Okay, and then I get my um, confirmation. Other than that, secure storage or open storage works pretty much the same for the user. They can just flip through records. There's really no speed difference that I've been able to see. Um, it's just that it stores it differently structured on the server. And that's it for this video. Thanks for your time.